before I am diagnosed of suffering from nostalgia, allow me indulge you ladies, the jurors, in the definition of student activism, because first we must lay a foundation. Therefore, what is student activism? Kasaja defines student activism, and especially in the context of the student movement in Kenya towards multi-party in Kenya, as a form of protest and resistance against oppression. And he goes further to say that at the very heart of student activism is a demonstration of leadership and the capacity for mass mobilization. I want us to take two key takeaways here. Leadership and capacity for mass mobilization. Because only those two can define student activism in Kenya. And with those, without those two, then we might as well go home and say, you know, it's still dead. Other definitions adopt more or less a similar approach with emphasis on the capacity of student activism to, you know, impact social, economic, and political change. Therefore, even as we approach the motion, I want to direct us all to consider to what extent has student activism, in the sense in which my colleague has said, has impacted social, economic, and political change in our modern society today. I want to say and submit further that student activism is dead, mostly because of the efforts of one man, Duale. There are sentiments all over the internet that how with one soup and an amendment to Article 38 of the Universities Act, he managed to behead student organizations of legitimate leadership. And we all know that without leadership, well, we might as well not move forward because leadership defines us as a people. Leadership shows us direction. Without leadership of the people, then we cannot, at the very least, give or even air our grievances out and have the hope that we can be listened to because then that is activism, the hope to be listened to and action at the very end of it all. The impact of the infamous Duale Bill cannot be understated. I say so because the electoral college system that has been adopted, which is a little too watered down, can easily be manipulated in what I will call, you know, boardroom politics and management by not only the stakeholders, but also all these other people that have interests in this outcome of the elections of students. And therefore, you realize that in the history of time, or rather of our nation and even countries, students have played a very key role in impacting social change. To behead their organization's ability to lead and mobilize then kills their ability to impact these social changes. Our students were very silent when this bill was debated, even much more so when it was enacted and taken as a law. I mean, why would you sit back and watch as your rights be taken away? The sovereignty of the people. I mean, Article 1 of our constitution says as much and affirms the same. If then as students we cannot, you know, remember that this is key to us and fight for it, stand up, then student activism must be dead because we are not even aware of ourselves. My second point is there is general student apathy not only to activism, but politics. It has been reflected, not in our voting patterns, but also even in the way in which you approach things. Our society currently is so individualistic, and therefore, we ask ourselves, if it doesn't affect me, why bother? Does that make sense to anybody of us? I mean, if that is a society we want to bring up, then we look forward to a society in the future where everything is going to go wrong, it's going to go south, and we wouldn't even bother because somehow we have survived bad times, we will survive these ones too, and therefore it's not necessary for us to take action, it's not necessary for us to be active. And that attitude is one of the key reasons why student activism today is very much dead. Finally, I want to submit that there is a sense in which
the unholy matrimony between national politics and student politics has killed student activism. Whenever you are fighting against something, you cannot be part of the problem and wish to resolve it. National politics is part of a problem in Kenya and world over. It has been one of the reasons, and I have demonstrated that part of the aims of student activism is to encourage student, or rather to encourage social, economic, and political change. By siding and being in bed with politicians, we cannot be able to impact this activism and change. Therefore, student activism is dead. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Joel. Just a, a quick uh, clarification. So the Duale Bill 2015, how exactly would you, and you alluded to the Electoral College, uh, is the main adverse impact the fact that with the Electoral College, manipulation now is much easier than it was when there was direct voting for student leaders? It has deprived of student organizations legitimate leadership. When you have three members uh, voting for a you know, the president or maybe let's say the Sonu, for instance, from a department, we are not able to, at the very least, you know, uh, account that this person will have won in this department. But then he managed to convince three people to vote for him, maybe because he paid them or maybe because somehow they know each other or other means. So by the very fact that student uh, activism or rather the student voting system has been altered, then it has rigged out legitimate leadership in our society. Right. Okay.